Dracula was based on a real person who lived in Transylvania the 15th century and had a similarly violent way of killing his enemies. During the 15th century, the understanding of medicine and the human body was vastly different from what it is today. Ancient traditions, folklore, and superstitions heavily influenced medical practices, often leading to unconventional methods that may seem bizarre and disturbing to our modern sensibilities. It is within this historical context that the story of Dracula emerges. Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler, was a real person who ruled over Wallachia, a region in present-day Romania, during the 15th century. His reputation for brutality, and his preferred method of execution. Impalement, struck fear into the hearts of his enemies. Legends of his violent acts spread, eventually inspiring Bram Stoker's iconic vampire character, Count Dracula. While Vlad the Impaler may have had a violent way of dealing with his enemies, it is important to recognize that his practices were rooted in the beliefs and customs of his time. Medieval medicine often relied on unconventional remedies and treatments, many of which involved the use of animal and human remains. These practices were rooted in the belief that certain body parts or substances possessed medicinal properties. In the case of human remains, it was believed that consuming or applying them could transfer the qualities or abilities of the deceased to the living. This belief formed the basis of various medical practices, such as the use of powdered mummies or ground-up bones in potions and remedies. While these practices may seem macabre to us now, they were seen as legitimate treatments at the time. However, as our understanding of medicine, and the human body evolved, these practices gradually fell out of favor. The development of evidence-based medicine, which relies on scientific research and rigorous testing, has allowed us to separate fact from fiction when it comes to medical treatments. Today, we have a wealth of knowledge and evidence to guide our healthcare practices, ensuring the health and well-being of humanity. Reflecting on the historical context of Dracula and the use of human remains in medicine serves as a reminder of how far we have come in our understanding of medicine. It highlights the importance of evidence-based treatments, where medical decisions are made based on scientific research and clinical trials. This approach ensures that our healthcare practices are effective, safe, and rooted in sound scientific principles. In conclusion, while the idea of using human remains in medicine may seem bizarre and disturbing to us now, it is essential to understand the historical context in which these practices originated. The story of Dracula, based on the real-life Vlad the Impaler, reminds us of the evolution of medicine and the importance of evidence-based treatments in ensuring the health and well-being of humanity.